Hey guys, this is a one month follow up on the Atlas Pro 8000 EXT lift. Uh, as is usual, the 05 is on top and the 2012 Boss is on the bottom. Um, no complaints, it's just great, it's fun, it's easy, it's very useful. Uh, I had to put a new spoiler on the 05, actually the old spoiler that had been ripped off in a minor off-road excursion and dropped the lift down a little bit about chin height and it made it so much easier to get all the bolts and get the heat gun out and and mold it and get it right and mount it back up that was just one thing i've done uh two oil changes on it our clips we had our clips on it and we had our uh, o2 s10 pickup chuck on it so much easier i bought this 20 quart extendable oil catch can works great like i said it holds 20 quarts so that, that's awesome five gallons uh had to run an extension cord to my outlet on the wall there just because it was a tad long, 20 gauge as recommended, so you don't burn up the motor. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, the the lift, I've, I've told a couple people about it. The thing, great thing about this lift, I like the bend packs, they had great reviews. This had great reviews. This has the manual locks and unlocks here, which I like. You don't need to have a compressor to unlock them, um, and you can feel them go in when you lock it. Uh, also came with wheel chocks, one there and one there, which isn't a big deal, but it's one less thing you had to buy. And it also came with four drip pans. There's three in the front where the motor and transmission is and one in the back where the rear is. And also the heavy duty jacking tray, which is right here. Um, that all came with this, in addition to the casters, if you wanna move it. Again, this is an 8,000 pound lift, so technically I could put my Suburban on here. I haven't yet. But uh, as I said, you know, it, it's, it sounds kind of cheesy. You know, everybody, every car guy always wants a lift and I always wanted a lift and this is great. Um, I think, originally I was thinking about getting two to put one here and one there because I had the ceiling built to do it both. I think for this side, I'm just gonna pick up one of those quick jacks to do brake jobs and things instead of getting a whole lift unless we decide to get another car and we need a place to store it. Who knows? Um, as you see, we got the 250R out today. Um, we had to put a new battery in it and do oil and filter on her as well. Uh, you know, things about doing a lift. Obviously, you need the three inches of concrete. I don't have mine mounted or anchored. You can, but you don't have to. Um, you have to get the high lift garage door openers, obviously, because standard winds are like seven feet, eight feet, which won't work because you'll hit your car. You need the jack shaft garage door openers. I have lift masters, which I, I hear are the best from all the research. Um, and you need the jack shaft. See the jack shaft that goes across the top and then the opener goes right into that. Just mounted the lights the other day. Um, other than that, you know, um, I can't say anything else about it except that it's great. It's, I'm glad I got it. It does everything we needed to do. It's so damn convenient being up, standing up under a car to pull the filter out or just to drain the oil. It, it's amazing. But uh, I know it sounds goofy, but you know, the car guys know that's, that's what you want. That's what you like. Here's the ramps. There's one here and one over there. Um, other than that, I, I can't think of anything else I might uh, tell you guys. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and ask me a question. Um, uh, I'll, one of the number one questions, and I always like this when I watch the videos, is how much did it cost? Uh, I got it from RD's Automotive Equipment. Um, the price on this, including installation, was 3500 even. Now, this is an EXT lift. He had one left. I didn't really want the EXT, but he wanted to sell it, so he gave it to me for $100 off price, list, list price. So, you know, to get a comparable lift from Benpack for the same, uh, the same lift capacity, 7, 8,000 pounds, it was gonna be 3,300 bucks just for the lift. So you're talking at least another seven, eight to install it, plus 50 for the um, hydraulic fluid. That was all in for me, 3,500. They came, uh, they're from Maryland, I'm in Delaware, and they installed it in about three hours. So that's about it for now. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Have a great day.